a couple weeks back here, and I was at the funeral. And some of my cousins, they were talking to me, and they some of the things that came out of their mouth. It was like, my God, help them. Because they were like seeking death over themselves. They were like, they were like just, I thought, it's a miracle we're still alive. That's right. The power of life and death is in the sun, right? Amen. I thought, oh man, they need to be careful what they say. Now I felt like saying that, but I didn't. Just because I know they're just going to keep talking like that. They, that's all they talk about. You know what I'm saying? Some people are just like that. Huh? They can change. They can change. Yes, they can. But they have to want to. But they have to want to. Choose to. They have to choose to. Amen. They have to make that choice. Yeah, they do. We can change what we say. We just have to make a choice to say what God says. Amen. To start saying what the Word of God says. That's right. Amen. God's Word is truth. Yes. Jesus said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, Father, thy Word is truth. We need to start saying what God's Word says. Yes. Not what our circumstances. If you say what your circumstances are all the time, your circumstances will never change. That's right. If you start saying what God says about you, your circumstances will change to come in line with the truth. The truth will set you free. Yes. yes. You said, and you shall know the truth. You know, if you don't, if you don't get the truth in your heart and get it coming out of your mouth, it won't, be, it won't have the power to set you free. But when you start releasing the truth out of your mouth, creative power is released. Yeah. When you start saying what God says out of your mouth, Lord, creative power Lord, is released. Thank you you are made in the image and likeness of God Himself. Yeah. He has creative power in His Word. When you start saying out of your mouth what God's Word says, creative power is released. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory, glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It says that when a man doesn't keep his tongue bridled or under control, he deceives his own heart. And this man's religion is vain. Pure religion. Pure religion. Say pure religion. Pure. In other words, there is a pure religion. I hear people talk bad about religion all the time. Even some church people. They say, well, I don't like religion. Well, there is a pure religion. Pure, there is a pure religion. Pure religion is good. Just religion that doesn't have any power is not good. That's right. But pure religion is good. All right? There is pure religion. Pure religion and undefiled before God is this. To visit the fatherless that's orphans and the widows in their affliction. In other words, go touch people's lives. Pure religion touches other people's lives. Yes. Pure religion reaches out to the lost. Pure religion reaches out to the hurt. Pure religion, religion reaches out to those who are alone all by themselves. They have no hope. To visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Pure religion is living a pure and holy life and reaching out and touching other people's lives. Yes. That's what pure religion is. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Praise the <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now let's turn over to chapter 3. Thank you, Father. Verse 1. My brethren, be not many masters or teachers, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. In other words, there's a higher degree of judgment when you're responsible for other people. Because what you speak into their life, it can bring either life or it can bring death. It can either help them or it can tear them down. I hope I give words that will help you to live for God. Thank you. To Lord. get you to the mark. To get you to the finish line. Amen. The mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus is to be conformed unto the image of Jesus Christ. Yes. That's what God's will is in your life. 
we sing a song, oh, to be like Jesus, to be like Jesus. All I ask is to be like him. The word Christian means Christ-like. Yes. The word Christian means Christ-like. So, so God's intent for you is for you to be conformed to the image of his son. Now, he, if you receive Jesus to make him Lord, he's in you and you're in him. So he can he can change you from the yes, inside out. You understand? Amen. When you submit to God, He'll change you yes, from the inside out. Thank Glory to God. Lord. He'll start on the inside and He'll clean you up, and then He'll clean you up clear until He can get out. <laughs> he'll start cleaning you from the inside, and He'll clean you until He gets on the outside. Yes. Glory to God. Glory. Praise you, Father. See Jesus in you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, say word. word. If any man offend not in word, the same man is a perfect man. That means spiritually mature. If you don't offend people by word. Now the truth is, I mean, it's hard not to offend people by word sometimes. I mean, when I preach the word, it offends, me, it offends some people. Some people take offense to the word of God. Mm -hmm. But... It, Jesus said it's just necessary that offenses be, offenses do come. When Jesus was out doing his work, Peter, you know, John the Baptist, sent some of his disciples to talk to him. Now he was in prison, but he sent some of his disciples to talk to Jesus, and he said, "Ask him if he is, if he really is the one." And Jesus said, "Jesus said, tell him the works that I do." Just tell him, you see, the blind see, the lame walk, and the deaf hear. Tell him the works that I do. And he'll know if I'm really the one. He said, but, but some people take offense. You know, he was offended that Jesus was out there free, and he was in prison. Jesus, Jesus was getting all the acclaims now, and he was in prison. He, he was a prophet of God. John the Baptist, Jesus said John the Baptist was the greatest prophet that's ever lived. Mm -hmm. The greatest prophet that's ever lived. No other prophet was greater, Jesus said, than John the Baptist. So John the Baptist is a mighty man of God. He did mighty works. Matter of fact, when Jesus started doing miracles, the king that put John the Baptist in prison, he said, he must be John the Baptist raised from the dead. Yeah, that's right. That's what he said. He must be John the Baptist raised from the dead. He wasn't. Jesus, he was the one that came after John the Baptist. He is the Messiah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He is Almighty God. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. Well, go. Thank you, Lord. For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man. And also able to bridle his whole body. You know, when you can get your tongue under control, you're able to get your whole body under control. Yes. When you get your tongue under control, you can get your whole body under control. You start saying what God says, your whole body will come under control. Mm -hmm. The bridle controls it. Bring, controls it like a horse, right? Yes. If you can get your tongue under control, the Word says you will bring your whole body under control. Hallelujah. Right. Well, you start controlling what you say, it will bring your body under control. Whenever some, some temptation comes, you say, I'm dead to sin. Wow, I hear that. Thank I'm dead to that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Bob. You start doing that, you'll get that under control. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. That's what God's Word says. Let's do what the Word says. Yes. Let's be doers of the Word, not just hearers of the Word. Okay? Amen. <coughs> He's able also to bridle the whole body. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth that, that they may obey us. And we turn about, and we turn about their whole body. That's right. Behold also the ships, which though they be so great, they are driven by the wind, yet they are turned about with a very small helm. Whether so ever the government knows, by just turning the, the, the helm, these mighty ships are able to be controlled. That's right. Even though the tongue is a little member, even though the, the tongue is a little member and boasts of great things, behold, how great a matter a little fire can look. In other words, you can take a little fire mm -hmm. yes. and you can start a giant fire with a yes. little bit of fire. Yes. If you can like throw a match down on your carpet, it can burn your whole house down. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. 